All right, here's a little update video on the clam pro thermal. So we got everything all done on the inside. Just had to put the, the canopy on and we'll be ready back to go. Start off here, pole holders. Got some foam right here that I got. Just cut some slits in it to put my poles across. Right here is the clam small storage pack. Now we'll work our way this way. Seat. Right here is where my hummingbird's gonna sit. I'm gonna finish cleaning this up later. Get all that vacuumed out, and I'll put one more wire clip, one of these, on right here to get this slack out and hold that down so it's not hitting on the seat. Come back to here. Got my middle tub. Goes back and under a little bit. Then right here is where my battery sits. And then we got my heater. Just drilled a hole right there with the hole saw. And then the bottom piece that comes with it, we use screws to tack it down, which worked really well. I mean, the whole shanty shakes with it, so that's good. Then, come around to this side. Wind pole right here. All these are is your navigation lights for a boat. Just put those on there. So then the flooring has this high density foam or actually plastic sorry high density plastic that the whole thing is made out of super lightweight i mean but still super durable so it's got that on the floor and on the back here which you can see right there all we basically did is cut it out the the shape of the floor and then we just set it down in there with pressure it from pressure from the sides right here coming down with the poles bolted down was enough to keep it down. Then we just put this carpet on top. Worked out really nice. Uh, gonna glue this down later at a later date once I get finished cleaning everything up and getting everything done. Right here is my switches. So right here is my master switch. Which, I ordered a new one of those, but it hasn't came in yet. So that's why the only thing I'm waiting on to finish cleaning this up and getting it all closed. But back under there, you can't really see it very well. See if I can. There you go. Right there, you can kind of see some of the wires coming out. But all my wiring's hid up and under there, which is super nice. So I ran my master my two master wires, my positive and my negative, all the way up to the front here. And then I just ran all my lights and then conjoined everything down in there. So it's up and out of the way, but then it's somewhere ever to come loose, it's right there. You can just pop that panel off easy, plug it back in, reconnect it, whatever you got to do to get back going. So we come back to the switches. Master's on. Ring light. This will be for my, that will be for on my poles, on my ice shanty on the canvas part. So that will be nice. Right here, tub lights. One down in there, two on that side, two up here. And then the other switch is my feet lights. So there's plenty of lights you'll always be able to see in that. All these lights are turn them back on all those lights are is from ice hole power there's a packet of 10 i bought worked out super nice just drill a hole run your wires through and they make it super easy all you had to do is run your positive to the switch for all the lights run your positive to the switch back in there and then can connect all of your negatives together and your negative will come from your master into your switch panel and then it'll run all the way through so that's how I did everything. I mean, definitely probably some better ways, but for my first time, it worked out. All I did was connect everything. Those are angle pieces of aluminum, which is super lightweight, and then I just riveted everything together. And then to get up here, all I did was drill a hole into the poles and then rivet it in and there again, which worked out very well and still 
I mean, yeah, you see them, but it still gives it a really clean look. You don't have nuts and your bolts are too long, so you got to cut them, and it worked out perfectly. So, yeah. So my next step here is I'll waiting for the carpet to dry, and then I'm waiting for that switch. And then once I get that, I will re-put on the canvas part, get that all mounted back up, put the little rubber gasket around, and then mount the lights up here, mount those up on there, and everything will be ready to go. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, just let me know.